Hey guys, welcome back to Convolution. My name's Khan. Right now, I'm be sitting down to check out some more StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void in game cinematic and cutscenes. But first, one of you guys let me know on the comments of my previous video that there was actually a video that I forgot to check out prior to starting Legacy of the Void, which is a very much comic style uh, introduction to the story that would be taking place in Legacy of the Void, which would have probably made it a little bit easier to understand everything going forward. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna check that out first and then jump back into this, uh, the where I was in the Legacy of the Void story and check some of that out before the next video so let's go ahead and see starcraft 2 legacy of the void reclamation and see what kind of uh story uh, prologue we have i think this is a prologue to the actual legacy of the void storyline so three two one seven may contain content inappropriate for children yes blizzard Blizzard's going through a rough time now, uh, according to the news. <laughs> I, I hear war. Oh, shit. Whoa, okay. Uh, I'm already liking this shit. I wish to be alone, Kaldaris. Kaldaris. Your warriors question your whereabouts. We are an ancient people. There are few of us left. And tomorrow, I send so many to die. If you doubt our capabilities... I do not doubt them, old friend. I doubt my own motives. And if I doubt, so will they. Oh, right, because he's still attached to the, the Kala. What cause could be more noble than reclaiming our home. This is right before Aya the opening cinematic, I'm guessing. But is it our future? Aya is our heritage. <sighs> the Aeon of Strife is also our heritage. Oh shit. Oh, we do okay. not cling to it or want its return. Damn. We acted no better than animals and nearly drowned Aya in our own blood. Wow. Very violent from and that conflict, the great cost opened our minds. Oh, so they weren't like that originally. They original. brought us the glory of the Kala. And our every emotion, our every thought became as one. Wow. With the Kala, we found unity. Damn! We rose from our failings. We made Ire a beacon of progress in the galaxy. Oh. The envy of the stars. But in the glory of the Kala's light, so sure of our righteous destiny, we once again turned on our brothers. You speak of the Dark Templar. Yes. They chose to reject all that we are and sever themselves from the Kala. We branded them heretics, tried to destroy them. We had forsaken our unity, and like the Aeon of Strife, that division made us weak. Damn. We were punished by fate for that weakness. Because of our certainty, Ire fell to the Zerg. I watched our home burn, our honor lost, countless lives lost. There will be more bloodshed in this invasion, more friends fallen, because we cling to an ideal that may have passed. I refuse to accept that. Do you not see the symmetry in this moment? Driving the Dark Templar away was a sin. But today, because you have united us, we fight together. The lives lost tomorrow will be the price of our future. An easy sentiment from one who is not sending them to die. From one who is being sent to die. Damn. I will be among the first to that spill Zerg blood. I am a Kundalar, the tip of the spear. 
you will survive the first wave. Why? Because I know of no higher honor. I volunteered for a chance to give my life for our home. To make a world for all Protoss once more. You made me believe in that. Damn. A world for all Protoss once more. It will be because of warriors like you. Come back, Artanis. Lead us home. Kaldalis. My life for Ire. Yeah, my life for Ire. Got chills. My life for Ire. Oh, let's go, Armada! <laughs> Holy shit, dude, that looks amazing. This is crazy, dude. Yeah, this was good. This was incredible, as a matter of fact. Let, let's get back into our cutscenes and cinematics, and then I'll talk about it all afterwards. Did you want to War Council. I think that's where we left off, right? Yeah. The Void Portal within Ulnar has been sealed, but a greater threat looms. Amon is transforming our people into a host form. While we were focused upon Ulnar, he has unleashed the full might of the Golden Armada. Using Golden our Armada? To eradicate life from planets across the Caprulu sector. Caprulu? Our current forces are not powerful enough to engage the Great Fleet. But Amon's other servants run rampant across the sector. Then we should strike immediately. Eliminate his outlying forces. The ancient purifiers were designed for war. If we reactivate them, we can build our armies and destroy Amon's Zergreeds in one fell swoop. Assuming they do not turn on us first, the purifiers possess no loyalty, no honor. You waste time bickering. The Taldarim's death fleets are your threat. I alone can challenge Malash for the right to rule and bend his army to my will. Do not forget Moby's core. They are rumored to operate from the hidden oh, base yeah. where they forge a hybrid army to serve, even now. This is true, but we cannot engage them without knowing where they are. Vorazun, send your most elite Dark Templar to scour the sector. For now, Karax, your focus must remain with the Keystone. The survival of our people depends on our actions in the days to come. It falls to the firstborn to stop the coming oblivion. Damn, dude. Hands in motion! The Selnagur are dead. There is no salvation within Ulnar. And yet, we indeed found hope. If we are to fight, Colossus. we must raise an army. Phoenix and I believe that we can awaken the ancient purifiers and call upon their power. They may have okay. been a forbidden weapon, but I have seen their potential in Phoenix and know that this time, they will Shit. not fail us. You can get all those freaking crazy as automata are on your side. Indeed a risk. Tassadar, old friend, what would you do? Zeratul, would you have me take such a chance? The answer matters little. If this alliance can weaken Amon's armies, then it is a chance that must be taken. I have made a decision many of you will not agree with. During my time with Phoenix, I have seen that the Purifier program, under the right guidance, may be reborn. History has shown the Purifiers cannot be controlled, Artanis. They do not have to be. These personalities, like I, will have free will. We do not have enough Purifier matrices to create more like Phoenix. You cannot possibly be considering what I think you are. 
The original purifiers are housed in orbit above the forest world of Endion, sealed within their warship, Cybros. I have seen through Phoenix that these warriors may be valuable to us. Perhaps the Conclave misunderstood them, treating them as simple robots and not proud Templar. It tried to control them. And they rebelled, attacking their creators. Would you not rebel against a slave master? I have heard your counsel. He's got a point. I have chosen to go to Endion. We leave at once. All right. So we're heading, uh, heading to Endion first. Whoa. Oh, damn. Bust out of hyperspace. Cybros? The purifier stasis grid is still intact. We'll have to destabilize it from the generator below. I'm detecting a massive Zerg infestation on the surface. They can't be Kerrigan's. Amon's brood. This will not be easy. Yep. Nobody said it would be! Hierarch, my scouts are tracking page. the movements of the Golden Armada. Endion. It is hard to imagine what it must have looked like before the Zerg invaded. We received a report from one of our colony worlds. Amon's forces are destroying their neighboring planets. They barely escaped in time. If they are anything like Phoenix, the purifiers have potential. What you plan to do is awaken monsters, Artemis. They slaughtered every Templar on the base of Lantinum. They rose against their masters. Our people never treated them as Templar. Because they are robots, created to do the bidding of the Conclave. Is this what you think of Phoenix? A robot whose only purpose is to do your bidding? He certainly defies expectations. He is... more. Perhaps the original Purifier robots will be too. If nothing else, think of their benefit to the war Yeah, because Phoenix that isn't is technically the person he's based off I of. It's just all his data I am within a, a Purifier machine, a right? Problem. Disrupting the stasis grid so it's technically a new be type easy. of being. It certainly will be less so with Amon's brood attacking us. Mechanical being long enough with the living beings. The scientists sealed away Cybros with a device called the Megalith. Nerve pattern it or is whatever. the key to disabling the station's stasis lock. Once the grid is down, we have to act swiftly and bring Cybros online or flee orbit. The might of the brood below is too great. Leave the defense to me. I know this will work, Hierarch. I know I can guide the purifiers through the darkness that lies ahead. Help them accept what they are. I can convince them that they will not be treated as servants again. Then it appears as if you have found purpose, brother. Since awakening, I have been confused, directionless, uncertain of what I am. How I came to be, now things are clear once more. Fate has laid out a purpose only I can accomplish. It is exhilarating. Yes. Well, they, they got emotion, they got feelings, let's go! Not achieve. Yet he would attempt it if he could. I have learned much from Phoenix's memories, and through them, I have come to know myself. I am Phoenix, but not. Right. I am my own entity. And I take pride in this. Ooh, I'm the shield emitters on India must be disabled if we are to reactivate Cyrus. The time to begin is and now, Hierarch. Oh, damn. Cyrus, the vault of the purifiers. It is fortunate that Avon's brood has been unable to penetrate its stasis grid. What if he's already inside? Although I don't see why he would. Oh, They're mechanical. To Amon only goes records. for like biological hmm. beings, right? The stasis grid is sealed by complicated locking mechanisms. They can only be destabilized by a certain device. The megalith. I'll begin recovering it now, so it may work on the locks. It will need protection. 
These forests already crawl with Zerg abominations. Then we shall clear them out. Okay. If I may, Hierarch, this facility once developed powerful weapons for the Empire. Ah, oh, shit. I have heard what the hell? Tale of the mighty Colossi, Steam Cliffs. These are the Colossi. From afar. Let us see how they fare against the Zerg. Very well done. Mantis spider style looking Karax, activate the megalith. Oh, so you've taken them over. That's why they went from green to blue or yellow to blue. Authorization in progress. The megalith should be ready shortly, Hierarch. We will monitor its status and alert you when it is online. Okay. The final lock is Damn. destabilizing, and the grid is down. We've done it. Cybros is free okay, from stasis. Okay, the ships and the forces. We call our forces from Endion's service. We take this battle to Cybros. Oh, that's cool. Having all of them like transport I up. I assume your plan that's is cool. to bind these robotic warriors to your will. They will be allowed their freedom, much like Phoenix. Mm. Making slaves of them is what led to their revolt before. Oh, this right. foolish idealism taxes my patience. Idealism? They are the replications of our greatest champions. We seek to free your people from Malash, and yet you desire to enslave mine? I cannot right. free them. It softens a people. I will dethrone Malash and save my kind from oblivion, but they will not be free. They will serve huh. me. Freedom is a delusion granted to the weak by the strong. You Damn, that's speak some as mentality. Does. For the sake of your life, that will change. Yeah. Still the Phoenix machine. You've been hanging out too much with Amon. Of the purifiers, and use them as the tools of destruction they were built to be. Why was Endion chosen as the world Cybros was to orbit? For thousands of years, it has been a research retreat. Here, Protoss scholars secluded themselves from political affairs to focus on the task oh. of devising technology that would benefit the Empire. The Psi Matrix was first conceived here. When it was decided that the purifiers would be shut down, they became a symbol of okay. achievement, but also the dangers of it. So they were brought to a research colony. Where better than a place where our greatest scientists resided, constantly improving Cybros's stasis field? And how many resided on the world below? 800,000 Kali, a contingent okay. of Templar. I only hope their deaths were swift. They cannot all be like Phoenix Hierarch. If you would listen to me just once, the purifiers are dangerous. Perhaps you must learn this firsthand. Your plan worked, Karax. The stasis grid is down. We must act now. If we can bring Cybros online, the battle station should begin to defend itself. And the purifiers? They have lain dormant for millennia. They may still harbor anger towards us. If they turn on us, we will have to fight. We failed them before, not understanding what it was we had birthed. These personalities may be replications, but they are alive. After spending so much time with Phoenix, I share your belief. <laughs> yeah. Cybros will not be able to resist the Zerg for long. We should move quickly if we hope to save the purifiers. I require your honest counsel, Phoenix. Do you believe the purifiers will join us? I do not know. They may harbor rage. Resentment for the actions of our forebears. The Daylong yeah. is not the Conclave. We are united in purpose, like never before. And that is why the Purifiers must be allowed to choose their fate for Right. Themselves. Very important Without point. Freedom, Give them the freedom when it matters, united. you know? This is true. 
Let yet, them choose the firstborn when the circumstances are dire. Enemy, and I believe in you to not create one. Your actions determine the future for both the Templar and the Purifiers. But mm. now is the time to act, Hierarch. You are right. right. The way forward may be difficult, but it is necessary. Thank you, my friend. For each secret I unravel, another lies in wait. The Zelnaga think in ways I can scarcely understand. It is unreasonably frustrating. Curious. He's probably gonna this figure it out like a last moment. the keystone would kill any Protoss near it. Such a simple interpretation of the evidence. With the stasis grid down, the Zerg have begun infesting the surface of Cybros. We do not have long if we wish to save the purifiers. Your Templar are ready, Hierarch. Give the word, and it shall be reclaimed. Alright, I'll check out the remainder. I'll check out the, the Siege of Cybros later when uh, we try to reclaim all the all the other uh purifiers i really like the fact that we focus so much on like phoenix's character it's it's so cool that you know like the, the, obviously it's a story about uh, like you know the protoss working together to beat amon but at the same time you have this sort of other story that sort of just focuses directly on like what it means for the history of the protoss for these purifiers to be born you know what does it mean i mean on one hand they're such like you know these mon monstrosity type of creations that have been created by these scientists uh for the sake of just warfare and to be constantly enslaved because they are not you know biological they're just like you know pure technology built for the purpose of war but what Phoenix has, you know, shown to Artanis and all, everyone else is that, you know, which Rohana is actually ha having a problem, you know, believing to a certain extent is that, you know, they have a will of their own. Like they're the will of the people that um, the, the, the greatest warriors who are who after they've passed, their consciousness was copied onto these robotic beings. They've lingered on and have ultimately become these new type of beings themselves, these automatas with free will. So it's like, you know, it, it, it's like, it, it's kind of like an evolution. It's kind of like the Protoss have sort of kept on with the legacy of the Zelnaga and are creating a new being their own way. You know what I'm saying? A being that is outside of Amon's influence. So it might be the key to moving forward uh, out, you know, by beating Amon ultimately, you know? So that's some cool shit, man. And you have, um, you know, you have Alarak like talking about the other point of view. He spent too much time with Amon. He's like, yeah, freedom is kind of like, you know, freedom is sort of an illusion. And he's like, the, the more free you are, like, you know, the less control you have. And it's just like, yeah, he's like, I, I will save my people, but they won't be free. They'll be under me. So, it, you know, it, basically everybody has like a different opinion about how, how a hierarchy should be structured. You know what I'm saying? So that's super cool that we even get all of that within the midst of this crazy universal warfare that's taking place. So what did you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Have a wonderful night wherever you guys are. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, hit that like button, and feel free to share the video. And I'll see you guys next time.